Peter, look, I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, I know. I just... I don't understand how she can put her life on the line like that and not tell me. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? W what do you mean? Peter, you literally do the exact same thing. Now you know how I felt when I found out you were Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, I... I get it now. Look, you just gotta give her time to think and understand all of this. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. I'm just... worried about her, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Look, Peter, you two are so similar in a lot of ways, this being a big one. And I'm sure she's going through it just as much as you are right now. And I promise, when she's ready to talk, she'll talk. Yeah, you're right as always. I'm sure she's fine. Thank you, Harry. Stupid girl! What's wrong with you? Why would you ever think it would be a good idea to tell Spider-Man who you are? It seemed like the appropriate time. No time is the appropriate time. Do you have any idea how many people want you dead because your father is Walter Hardy? Now I have to go clean up your mess. Enforcers, we are going to go find Spider-Man and kill him by any means necessary. Well, this is pathetic. I've been watching this phone waiting for it to ring for an hour. I really should just listen to Harry and give her some space. Who could that be? There's no way Aunt May's home already. Peter, I really need to tell you something. Yeah, of course, come right in. I really wish I could make this easier after all that just happened, but I have to tell you. Tell me what? I work with Tombstone. Y you what? Not by choice or anything. He... He raised me, so I just grew up working with him. I was afraid to tell you before because I didn't want you to think I was just some criminal. Felicia, of course not. Tombstone is hunting you, Peter. And I'm not going to be a part of that. I've decided I'm finally going to fight against him and I'm going to take down his gang. I just want to know that I can have your help in doing so. Yes, uh, of course. Thank you, Peter. I'll lay out the plan after school tomorrow. Okay. What are you two doing? Well, we weren't working on anything at the moment, so we figured we'd work on a side project. Oh, I see. Well, don't let me distract you. Sir, there's someone here requesting to see you. Well then, bring him in, Bernard. Nice to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Osborne. Do you mind explaining who you are? I am Tombstone, and I request your assistance with a problem of mine. Could you be a bit more specific? You see, our mutual friend, Spider-Man, knows something he isn't allowed to know. So I need your assistance in killing him. You see, Mr. Tombstone, us here at Oscorp, we're not trying to kill Spider-Man. We are just trying to make him as strong as possible so that we can experiment on him in the future. So I suggest you go ahead and leave before I have the entire NYPD here to take you in. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. Okay, class dismissed. And don't forget to start studying for your finals. So, are you guys ready? Yeah, we're just waiting for everyone to leave. 
shouldn't you all be going home? Well, we started a club, and we wanted to know if we could meet in your room today. So why are you starting a club at the end of the year? It took us a while to figure out the idea. So what's this club about? Oh, well, uh... Tea! Tea. Yeah, um, like drinking tea and talking about tea. Interesting. Well, as long as you don't break anything, you can have my room today. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, so, what's our plan? Well, when Tombstone and I took out all the crime bosses, everyone who was associated with them just joined him. So what, are we gonna have to fight like the whole mob? Well, no, not necessarily. Look, I know this place inside and out, and Tombstone is gonna have the enforcers propped up guarding his office. So we just gotta defeat them and then we can get to him. No way they're actually calling themselves the Enforcers now. That's awesome. Yeah, they started going by that recently. Look, I have spent seven years of my life training to be able to beat Tombstone in a fight. So it shouldn't be too hard, especially not with your help, Peter. All right then. Well, I guess we're ready to go. Well, good luck, guys. All right, how are we going to do this? I'm going to try to talk to them first. I think I can convince them to help us. Well, I don't know how willing to talk they're going to be when I'm there. Which is why I'm going to go in by myself first, and you're going to come in when I tell you. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Felicia. How was school? It, it was fine, I guess. I don't know. I need to talk to you guys. Sure thing. What do you need to talk about? <sighs> I'm going to take down Tombstone. What? We can finally live our lives without being in fear of him. I don't know, Felicia. But I do. Ox, you know I've been trained for this. And with the help of my friend, we can finally get rid of him. Wait, who's your friend? Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, of course. Seriously, Felicia, him? Felicia, did you forget that we are supposed to be killing him? He's just trying to help. He just wants the best for everyone. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have a life. Oh, screw it. You're right. Are y'all serious? I've already lost everything. I came here because I had no other options left. And I ain't losing this too. Montana, I understand, but this is what's best for everyone. No, you already took away my other family. I ain't letting you take this one, too. Then I really am sorry, Montana. I got him. Y'all go. Are you ready? <sighs> nope. Good. My, my, how the tables have turned. I do have to admit, I didn't expect you to betray me to Spider-Man, of all people. Shut up. And after everything I've done for you, your father would be so disappointed. I'll make you a deal, Cat. You hand over Spider-Man to me, and I won't have to kill you. You know, I feel like I just jumped into the middle of something and I am so confused. Peter, now is really not the time. Oh, now I understand. You're dead. You know, it really is a crime that we haven't fought until now. Oh, okay, not in a talking mood anymore. I see, I see. You know, I was gonna tell you you need to brush your teeth better, but they look pretty sharp, so you might have actually brushed them a bit too good. <laughs> Don't you lay another finger on her! Peter, you're bothering me. Now you'll pay the consequences for trying to tear down everything I've built. Felicia, stop! <laughs> Please, just don't kill him. This man has hurt me more than you can possibly imagine. But you need to give him a chance. He could still be redeemed. 
The world isn't as black and white as you see it, Peter. Some people can't be redeemed. But there's always a chance we have to try. This monster was born evil. He doesn't deserve a chance. I loved you, cat. No, you didn't. Felicia, no! <laughs> what did you do? I did what had to be done. Peter, are you alright? I haven't seen you all day. Please don't say that. Why not? What's wrong? Those were the last words that Uncle Ben ever said to me. I've got so much going on right now, I really don't want to be thinking about him. It'll just make everything worse. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. What's going on? I'm just going through some stuff with Felicia right now. Oh, yes, I understand. You know, Ben and I fought a couple times, too. Oh, yeah, I know. Dang it, woman, worth my $15. Oh, yes, it was always about his $15, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the only thing he ever really got upset about. You know, Peter, whatever's going on with you and Felicia, I'm sure you'll work it out. She loves you and you love her, and that's really all that matters. Thank you, Aunt May. Of course, Peter. I'm gonna go make some dinner. You can come out and eat whenever you're ready. No! I should be able to spot her from up here. There she is. Come on, I have to be faster. I can't lose her, I need to catch up. I have to catch up. The train's almost here. Felicia, please don't go. Peter? I I'm sorry, I, I don't have any time. Felicia, wait! Felicia, please, just listen for a second. I'm sorry, Peter. But I can't stay. Why not? We can figure this out. I've done terrible things, Peter. There's nothing left for me here but pain, so I have to go. Then take me with you. I don't care. I'll leave too. As long as we're together, it'll be okay. No, you have to stay here. This city needs you, Peter. New York needs Spider-Man. You give hope to these people, Peter. People look up in the sky and they see you swing past and they know that everything is gonna be okay because you're there. I just don't wanna lose you. I know it's hard to say goodbye, but it'll be okay. I'll see you again, I promise. I love you, Spider. I love you too, Cat.